Hello, everybody. Gage says it's empty. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by at Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer comes from Hill Farmstead Brewing. They're up in Vermont. Uh, this is an American Double or Imperial Stout. It doesn't tell you that on the label. Uh, there's a lot of other stuff it does not tell you on the label, like the ABV of this. This is batch number nine. So they've done this beer nine different times. I don't know if it's nine different years, but they've done it nine different times. This is batch number nine. This was sent to me by Greg, and he writes, Madness and Civilization from Hill Farmstead. In his opinion, this is the best beer that he put in the package that he sent me. He said he picked it up on the, at the brewery on June 21st. While it was released on June 21st, the label says it was bottled on January the 11th. Beer Abbott calls it an Imperial South. I wish the label on the bottle would say that instead of ale. And I do too. Uh, you don't know if you're drinking a, an old ale or, or what you're drinking if they don't put that information on there. Maybe the different batches were different styles. I'm, I'm not sure. And they reused the label on each one. I'm not sure of that either. But well, we would kind of like to know that information. Am I buying an old ale? Am I buying a stout? Uh, they need to put that on there. They do. They even put it on a smaller label on the neck if they want to reuse these bigger labels and stuff. So that's my only fuss right now before we even open it up. It doesn't have the ABV, rate beer, not rate beer, but beer advocate and untapped. Even. Neither one of them have the ABV listed for this particular batch. So we're kind of in limbo there, not knowing. They need to put a little more information on the label. ABV, they've got. The, the bottle on date and stuff like Greg has said here uh, and they want you to according to the label they want you to have it within six months I don't know why they would put that on there wanting you to have an imperial stout that quick unless it was brewed with coffee or something that's going to fade I'm not aware of that guys this is a bourbon barrel age version according to what I have read yep well not bourbon on um, the label says ale Aged in oak barrels on the very bottom here. Doesn't say anything about anything about any bourbon, so it doesn't tell us what kind of barrel they put it in. So the the label is lacking a little bit of information, uh, and I thought this was a separate label that it had the batch number on it, but it doesn't look like it. It's made onto the same label, but they have printed that on the bottom of that label on the corner here, what batch it is and when it was put in. This one says uh, January 11th, 2017. Now, whether there's some other dating on the bottle that I cannot see, that is basically all the information that we have to go on. So, let's find out. Let's do it together. Uh, commercial description on Beer Advocate says, This batch of madness and civilization is composed of barrel-aged Everett and birth of tragedy. Each age in our favorite bourbon barrels for two years, so it was done in bourbon barrels. Blended with fresh genealogy, easy for me to say, genealogy, and then conditioned further with coconut and vanilla. After months of bottle conditioning, the beer is now ready for release and enjoyment. Madness in Civilization is a panorama of our barrel aging program. Oak age beers that emerge from their individual silences to find structure and voice as a unified composition. This is a result of an unpredictable state of permanent happenstance. A dialogue with our evolving approach to blending that challenges convention and circumstance. Well, wasn't that a mouthful? They didn't tell us anything other than it was bourbon barrel aged. Uh, so, 
Uh, I don't think there's anything else. We don't know the ABV. We do have the date. Uh, and, and now that we're looking, it says it's a stout and not just an ale in the bottle. So the information on the label is, is lacking us. They need to do better. So, But they do great stuff at Hill Farmstead. So most people are standing in line and buying the stuff up. I don't guess they really give a rat's ass now, do they? <laughs> Let's get this thing open. See what we got. I've been very impressed with what these guys do. A little bit of hiss, a little bit of smoke. Like I said, we have no idea what the ABV is. Let's go down the center and see what we get. Cheese is a buttery brie good of already Swiss. Goes well with your chocolate dishes. Uh, digestive meat is beef, smoked meat, game, and grilled meat. The last part of the pint, Becker Nonic Tumbler Snifter, oversized wine glass. I got my favorite snifter. And it says here it can be selling for long periods. Uh, and I would think so. Uh, it doesn't say anything about any coffee or anything, so I don't know why you couldn't sell those for a long, long time, guys. Down the middle, the, uh, the head is just barely covering the top of the beer, about an eighth of an inch. Over to the light, there is none. It's pitch black, guys. Looks pretty good in the glass. Let's get a nose to it. Slight bourbon notes, rich roasted malt. Slight hint of some vanilla in there. Maybe some... Uh, Molasses, nice sweetness on the back end here, almost like it had lactose in it. Smells very, very nice, guys. Smells like a very delicious final beer of the evening, which it is for me. It smells wonderful. The bourbon is definitely not overpowering. It's there, but it is not off the chain, guys. Well, let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Greg. Mm. That's damn tasty. That's delicious. Very nice sweetness on the back end. To me, very reminiscent of something that's been brewed with lactose, that much sweetness and not being dry on the back end. Awesome. That is freaking awesome. The only plus I got is the information they're giving us on the label, guys. And like I said, if you're in the beer store and you pick this up, I don't know if it's distributed. I would think it, they would have a small distribution. I don't know. I'm not in Vermont. Uh, but if it's distributed, uh, I would think they would want to put that information on at least ABV and put stout or imperial stout on it instead of just ale aged in oak barrels. Was it just plain Jane oak barrels? Was it bourbon barrels? Well, that information is kind of important to me. Uh, I want to know that before I spend my money on it. Uh, but it is very tasty. It's freaking awesome. Uh, the only reason I could think right now before I set, it, set and sip on this, uh, of not giving it to 10 is the lack of information on the label. So, well, let me sip on it and see what I think when I come back. All right, guys, I'm back. Got just a little left here. Very tasty beer, guys. Awesome beer. Uh, I'm just a little disappointed in the information they're giving us on the label. No ABV. Uh, doesn't say that it's a bourbon barrel aged beer. Just says oak aged. And it's a little more than that. So the information they're putting on the label, other than the batch number, is a little lacking. That's how I feel. It's just my opinion. I think it's an awesome beer. I think it's an outstanding beer. I think it's a world-class beer. But they need to give us more information than what they're giving us on the label, not just say, okay, Dale. We don't know if it's an old ale, strong ale, stout, or pale ale, or barley wine. We don't know what it is. So, final joke. That's absolutely delicious. It's awesome. To me, guys, it's my opinion. It's a 10 beer and a 9 bottle. And that's, what I'm gonna, that's where I'm going to put it. It is an absolutely outstanding beer. I would buy if I could get it here if it had more information on the label. It's got to be there. Don't just... This is a beer. 
I mean, that's what they, that's what they could just put on there. This is a beer. This is an oak aged beer, not just an ale or a stout or whatever. Tell us what it is. Tell us what the ABV is. Uh, you've got the batch number and you got the date on it. Give us the rest of the information. Nine, ten beer in a nine bottle. So I put it. Numeric scale for me, it's a nine. I'm gonna give it a 99. It's so close. If it had that information, I would give it to 10. I really wanted to get three tens in a row, but it's not gonna get it for me because of the lack of information. Uh, over to Beer Advocate, they say 88. It's much better than that, guys. I don't know what these guys are, are doing over there. Uh, sometimes they got their head up their ass. Untapped has it at 4.5. Outstanding numbers from them. That's definitely in their A plus category, in my, in my opinion. Definitely an A beer, and that's where I'm putting it. It's an, it's an A beer for sure, and I would give it to 10 if it had more information. So that's the only plus I've got. It is an outstanding beer. You should try it. Uh, if you can get your hands on it, you will not be disappointed. It is superbly well made. I still don't know what the ABV is on it. It's an Imperial, so it's at least an 8 percenter. Uh, it could be a 9, 10, 11, 12. I, I don't have any idea. The alcohol is very well hidden, so I don't think it's above 10. It might be wrong there, it might be at 11. Uh, if it is, it's, super, it's very, 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 very well made. So, uh, one thing information, guys, gotta have it on there. Uh, they're just a little lacking in that. And if we're selling everything they produce, that's probably one reason why they don't care. So, uh, but I want to see that. Uh, give us some more information, tell us what we're buying. So, if you've had this one, the Madness of Civilization, number nine, uh, let me know what you think, guys. And Greg, thanks again, my brother. I do appreciate you sending this to me. Uh, I agree, it's an outstanding beer. They need to give us more information. If you've had it, let me know. And until we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge.